Hi, right, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a video on calculating with significant figures. Um, once you're able to determine how many significant figures are in a number, um, calculations with them are pretty simple. Um, there's two rules that you need to know. You need to know the multiplication and division rule, okay? And you need to know the addition and subtraction rule. The nice thing about it, multiplication and division go hand in hand, and addition and subtraction also have the same rule. And when you're doing a multiplication or a division, you simply round, okay, to the lowest number of significant per figures in the problem, okay? And when we do a addition or subtraction, we will round to something also that's lowest, they both have lowest, but in the case of addition or subtraction, we're rounding to the lowest number of decimal places. Okay, so we have some examples on the next page. All right, so let's just say you have to multiply 142 by 26, right? And they ask you in the problem to round it to the correct number of significant um, digits. So you look at a problem and you see, right, that 142 has three significant digits and 26 has only two. So your final answer, whatever you get, right, you must round it to two significant digits since that's the lowest number of significant figures in the problem. So when you multiply 142 by 26, uh, by my calculation, I got 3,692, okay? So 3,692. So we have to round 3,692 to two significant figures. Now, I always um, say, guys, that if when you're rounding, treat the numbers as if it were your money, all right? So you won't forget um, or be careless with it. So we have to get it to route where we have two significant digits. So what's the two does to the nine? The two doesn't do anything to the nine, so the two will be dropped, right? So we're gonna put a zero in the end there, all right? And so we've gotten rid of that two. Now, the 9 will change the 6 into a 7, right? So, the, we put a 0 where that 9 was, and the 6 gets bumped up to a 7, because 5 and above give it a shove, right? So, what's going to happen is, our final answer will simply be 3,700, all right? So, what happened again? The 2 doesn't do anything to the 9, so we can drop that and put a 0 for it. Okay, the 9... Okay, the 9 will cause the 6 to turn into a 7. So that's where we got that. And in the place of the 9, okay, we put another 0 there. So this is the 2, 0. That's where the 9 was. Okay, the 6 got turned into a 7, and 3 stayed it is. And those are our two significant figures right there. We're done. All right. And for the next one, we're doing an addition, right? Now remember, when we're adding or subtracting, we will round to the lowest number of significant figures in the problem. All right, so when we look at the problem, right? We see we have those number of decimal places, my bad, decimal places. So we have three decimal places right there. We have four decimal places right there. We have only two decimal places right there. So automatically, we are doing an addition subtraction again. You are round to the lowest number of decimal places. And in this case, it has to be two decimal places, all right? So, we're going to add them up. So, we see that 6 gets dropped down, 9 gets dropped down, okay? Um, we have 3 plus 7 is 10, is 18, right there. We carry the 1, 6 plus 4 is 10, and then 12, so it's going to be 13, okay? Carry the 1 again. We have 9 there, and we have a 2 there. All right, so we got 29.3986, right? Now, we simply have to round that to two decimal places, which is the lowest number of decimal places in the problem. So what does this 6 do to the 9? It makes it go to a 10, right? Okay. And the 10 turns the 8 into a 9, right? So what's going to happen is we will have 29.3986. Nine as our answer, okay? The two decimal places. Now, you want to be very careful. You don't want to put 29.3900. Why is that? Because these are trending zeros, 
and if there's a decimal point somewhere in the number these guys become significant so be very careful this right here will be the final answer in terms of rounding for this addition that we did right here okay as always hard work plus sacrifice equals success please study please study and uh, that's how we'll do well take care i have other videos um for the test so once again please study and uh take care